What's up YouTube? It's Matt Morozik, aka NBM397 with a really cool unboxing for you tonight. Two kits from Industrial Mechanica. Start off with my, one I've been looking forward to uh, for quite a while. It's uh, the Briegel, designed and sculpted by ZLucaCalamity.com. Right there. This is, he calls it the Hunter Edition. This is actually like his third version of the Regal. I have two of his original versions. This one's slightly different, has a different weapon. The proportions are a little different, the leg's a little bit taller. It's a really, really cool design. The original kit is amazing, and I'm lucky to have a couple because you can't find them anymore. Um, so, when uh, Michael Fichtemeyer uh, announced that he and Z Luca were gonna work together on getting another version done, um, this, it was a while ago, probably over a year ago, that they announced that they were gonna that they announced that they were gonna do another version of the Regal. Um, I was all over it, so this has been probably a, a, about a year in the making, and uh, I finally got it today. So, uh, really nice box, and it's actually kind of a small box for the size of the kit. This is a, a massive kit when it's done. It's about a foot tall. Uh, consists of about 200 resin pieces, photo etch wire. It's a plastic tubing, and it's really hot in my garage. It's about 100 degrees outside, so I may kick on, kick my fan back on. So um, bear with me. <laughs> but let's open it up and see what it looks like. So right off, we got some nice bubble wrap and bags of parts. And I'm really interested to see what the casting is like because, not to say that the originals are casted poorly. Um, I, I shouldn't say that. They're they're really nice kits, um, but um, I know with the casting that Mike's been getting lately, this is gonna be even a much nicer. And this right off the bat, <laughs> uh, this first piece I pulled out is really really sharp. Um, the gate will be easy to clip off and sand. I'm not gonna pull all these pieces out. I'll pull out a few key pieces to show you the detail. This goes. I can tell right away. This is part of the knee armor right here very nicely uh, texture molded in already nice spring detail in there pistons um, I'm not seeing any seam lines per se gates are small so I knew right off the bat this is going to be a really really cool kit this looks like to be uh, part of the some foot parts here's a one of the toes really nice a little bit of flash no big deal looking really good this gate will be a little pain to clean off because it's kind of right over that detail part but it shouldn't be too hard and uh looks good let's open up another bag i'm gonna try to make the short i gotta kick i have to kick my fan on guys it's so hot in here so hopefully it's not too loud <clears throat> i'll speak up a little bit because <laughs> it's like i said it's 100 degrees outside and my garage is probably 95 so all right here's a little a little bubble wrap. This looks like, oh, it's the barrel of the gun. It's a shotgun. It's really cool, double barrel shotgun. Very minor seam line, easy sanding, and that'll be good to go. And I think this opens up, like you, like, you, like you can load it. <clears throat> I briefly looked at the instructions earlier today, and the instructions are really, really good. Uh, and, and especially when you compare them to the old instructions, um, Mike did a real good job of showing the parts really clearly, and uh, it makes a lot of sense. The older instructions, at least that I have one, the ones I have, it's hard to kind of tell what the parts are on some of them. Uh, the pictures are a little dark, and it's hard to tell which pieces you're working with. Uh, this goes, I believe, this is a leg part again. I think it's a leg part. I'm just going by, by what I know from the original versions I have. I think this may go like in the back part of the leg. Again, really nicely molded detail really really good here's a part of the uh, <clears throat> this would be the front right here and the cockpit slides into here and that's where the pilot would sit so it's 135th scale so it's a good size and the fans blowing my camera around a little bit I'm just noticing that so sorry about that guys uh, here's the other part of the shotgun and got a little breakage right here just because the way their bag is just kind of Put in a bag. It would have been nice if this piece would have been wrapped in some bubble wrap just because the resin right here is pretty thin. Not a big deal. <clears throat> but uh, 
All right. Here's one of the big massive light pieces. It's molded in one piece. So you can go crazy with all sorts of detail painting on these guys. Uh, hand painting. Again, I got a little breakage right there again. The resin's thin. Um, so maybe if the packaging or the parts weren't just kind of maybe a little more separation in the in the packing would have been nice just to avoid some of the breakage but not a big deal uh looks good i'm not seeing any seam lines the gates would look like they're well placed so easy to clean up and here's the other leg part same thing same thing different side looking good nice uh crisp uh, panel lines nice and sharp a good depth this should take panel lining very nicely and again right here this is kind of beat up right here just from it rolling around in that bag so I'm gonna keep these out and probably wrap those up separately and that's about it for that bag put those back in keep some of these pieces out that have a little breakage on the side so I can wrap them up individually <clears throat> what's in here more pieces lots of pieces uh, casting looks really, really good. Uh, a solid 9 out of 10, easily. Alright, we got... I don't know what these are until I look at the instructions, but some of the smaller pieces, smaller bags, I won't take a, I won't open those up right now. Part of the gun. Oh, wait, this is interesting. I'm not sure if it's a mistake, but... I got, I got two of these, so... I'm not sure. Am I supposed to get one or two? This one doesn't have any breakage, where this one is kind of broken up a little bit. This one was wrapped in bubble wrap, or separated more, better. Here is the uh, the grip for the gun. Pretty cool. Yeah, the gun design is really cool in this one. It's quite different from... No, I got two guns. So, I don't know. Are you supposed to get two guns, or just one? But I got two. Looks like I got two, because I got two barrels. I got two bodies, so this will go together like this, and it'll be able to open up like you're putting shotgun shells, and that'd be kind of cool to scratch build some shotgun shells and put them in there like he's loading it. But I've got two guns so far. Uh, I haven't found the other uh, stock, but we'll see if it's in there. All right, we got some more. Here's some of the torso. Uh, yeah, I got two guns because there's another stock. So I'm not sure that's supposed to be like that, but I'll take it. <laughs> You're not getting it back, Mike, if I'm not supposed to have two. This is part of the leg internal right here. Again, tons of detail. This is all was sculpted by Z Luca. Scratch build and just really, really cool. If you, if you go to his Calamity website, he's not selling anything on it anymore because it, he's not active, but you can see some of the work in progress of his first version. And it shows you all the bits and pieces that he put into sculpting this kit. Not this kit, but the original kit, I should say. We've got a few work in progress picks up of, the, of him sculpting, re-sculpting the leg on this one, but that's about it. But I was really psyched to, to order this. I took advantage of Mike's uh, sale he had a couple months ago uh, when he announced he wasn't able to go to Wonderfest, which I was really bummed out about because I was bummed about because I was looking forward to meeting him. Uh, he had he ran a 10% off sale on his website, so I went ahead and picked up the Regal, and I picked up another smaller kit. I'll show you here in a second, but. The casting on this is superb, really, really nice. Um, a lot nicer than the originals that I have. And it just looks like, it also looks like Z's uh, sculpting is a little cleaner. It's like a, not that that's a bad thing, it's like it just a, it seems a little um, smoother. Is that the, the original version, versions uh, look a little more kind of worn, I should say. Like the pieces are a little bit more worn, or these look really, really nice smooth and really slick. Again, show you a couple pieces. I don't like, I personally don't like 20 minute unboxing videos, but just give you a sense of the detail on some of these pieces. Looking really, really good. I'm trying to get to some of the bigger pieces, probably at the bottom. <clears throat> There's a solid chunk of resin. I can feel it. There we go. So this is the front part of the upper torso, I believe. 
I think that the leg, legs will go socket into here. There's a back part that'll go on here, which I'm sure I'm going to get to. The top will pin into there, and like the head comes down here. So let's see if I can find that bigger back piece and kind of give you a sense. There it is. So the way this will work once this is cleaned up is this will peg into here. There, there, and there's a, a peg there. Of course, all the, none of the gates have been cleaned, so it's not going to fit. But this will go into there like that. And then there's another piece uh, that I just saw. Pull it out. It comes over the tops of the thighs. Ah, and wraps around. So this will go like that. This pegs into there. And right away, the, the fit on this is like a thousand times better than, than the ones I have already. The ones I have already, um, there's quite a bit of fitting and sanding and filling that needs to be done in this area, but right away that fits like a thousand times better. So that kind of goes like that. This is the top part of it, which will peg into here, I believe. If I, now this is all from memory, because I haven't looked at these kits in a while. I think that goes in there like that. And then there's a bunch of other pieces. But this thing's huge. I mean, look at that. That's just the torso or the the um, hip area. It's big. It's bigger than my hand. It's really, really massive. And now we're getting down to the other some smaller pieces. Yeah, there's about 200 pieces in this kit, so it's a good, good amount. It's not overwhelming. Um, like some of the G system kits have, I have that are like a thousand parts of resin, which is very daunting. But look how smooth those pipes and everything are in that bag. I don't know, maybe I'll see him probably get a glare. Pull a few out, but it's really, really nice. Super smooth. And this kit technically is poseable. Um, if you pin it in a way that you can pose it. If you do a Google search on 135th Regal, one of the ones that will pop up is one that uh, Michael did quite a while back that he lit up and it looks really really slick the way he lit it up. He lit the eyes and some of the sensors on the, on the kit. Uh, here's the photo etch. Very nice. Now this was just laying in the box um, kind of unprotected. It would have been nice if it was in maybe within the instructions or something just so it wasn't at the bottom of all that heavy resin. Mine, mine, mine is okay. There's no dings or bends but again just the suggestion on the packaging. Um, I'm not trying to be hard on Michael and his packing because it's, it's really good. But uh, just trying to be honest. Yeah, we get a nice piece of uh, wire, uh, wire, some plastic tubing or black wire for some of the detailing. Small set of decals. Let's see if I uh, take those out so you can see them. Let's see if they're pre-cut. I'm not sure they're pre-cut. And they're not pre-cut, which is no big deal. Just means you have to trim them a little. Do a little trimming on them. Kind of some cool designs. They're kind of like the snowmen. They're cool. And the instructions. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I briefly looked at the instructions when I first got this, and I was really, really impressed. First of all, you get this really nice artwork from uh, from Z Luca of the of the kit, or of the Briegel, not necessarily the kit. For the front, you get a painting, good enough to frame. And on the back, you get a nice photos, three photos of the pin kit. So you get front view, side view, or three quarter view and side view. And here you can sh it can really show how the uh, cockpit opens up and there's a driver inside. Now one thing that I really appreciate with this kit that um, isn't on all the industrial, me industrial mechanical kits is a parts layout and numbering. It just really helps to, especially on kits of this size, for parts count and making sure you get everything. Most of his, most of Mike's kits, are, you know, are probably under 20 pieces. Um, but when you get into a kit this size, you really need something where you can check off all the pieces and make sure you got it all. So I'll do that uh, either tonight or tomorrow. Now, according to instructions, I'm only supposed to have one gun. Uh, I have two, so lucky me. <laughs> um, and here are the instructions. Really nice. Just really good job of using photos. Clearly written. Um, it even goes to, as far as to tell you how long to make your pins and what diameter hole you need to drill. It's all metric, but, you know, whatever. I just used my typical 1 16th brass rod and I'm good to go, but really, really clear instructions. It's 
it's really easy to tell which parts go where. So very impressive job on the instructions. Really, really like that. How that how it looks. And for a kit the size, they're not it's only about five. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five pages. So not a whole lot of instructions, but you know, it's like you build one foot, you do the same to the other side. So I'll just go through these real quick, kind of show you, get, give, give you an idea of what's involved in putting this kit together in case you're interested in uh, getting it. Uh, according to Mike, he's got, I think, five left on the first pre-order. So I got, I think, kit number 19 out of the first run. Somewhere in here it tells me that. Yeah, I can't tell if it's a nine, 19 or a 10. Let's see. I think it's a 19. Um, so I got kit number 19 out of the first run, which is pretty cool. It's always good to get a uh, resin kit as close as to the first first pull as possible just because the molds are still in good shape. And I'm not sure how often Michael Mike has his uh, masters remade, but or his molds remade, but I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's about every 50 kits. You kind of have to have molds remade because they get worn out. So really good instructions. So all my, for all my figure builder guys <laughs> that I met at Wonderfest, uh, who was admiring some of my mecha, mecha models that I had there, this is what goes in build, into building one of these mechas. Lots and lots of parts, lots of sub-assemblies, lots of planning, pre-planning. Uh, just I spent a lot of time just thinking about how I'm going to build something, uh, just to try to make it easier as far as the building and painting process because sometimes you need to paint things before you put other parts on and stuff like that. Kind of like building an airplane, you build and paint the cockpit, then you build the fuselage, mask off the cockpit. This is very similar to that. A lot of times I have to build and paint a piece or an area, get that all ready before I move on to the next area. I really like the hand design, they're really cool. Uh, slightly different from the original version. But here you can see where this whole area right here, if you pin this correct in a, in a manner, you can actually pose the arm, make it reposable if you want. You know, typically in a kit this size, you're not going to be sitting there and be playing with it or posing it around because it's just so big. So, getting towards the end. There's the gun. Oh, look at that. It comes with shotgun shells. I was just saying how cool it would be to have some shotgun shells. It's got it right there. Very cool. Very nice. So that's it. That's the Regal. Pretty cool. So uh, since I'm doing this video, I'll go ahead and just do the other kit real quick because it's small. Not many pieces. It's the uh, one quarter scale Centurion bust. And uh, I got this because of, the, of the, the sale Michael was running. I figured, hey, why not? You know, I'll save 10%. So basically, the money I saved on the Regal almost paid for this kit because this was on sale originally. And then there's another 10% off because of his Wonderfest. Not being able to go to Wonderfest. So I opened this up earlier and I looked at it. It's really cool. Um, very nicely detailed. Like, there's basically like less than 10 pieces. So, like, here's the head. Really cool. If you haven't seen this on his web website, go check it out. Michael did a really nice paint up of it. Um, and it looks really, really slick. And it's really easy. It's be easy to light. Now this head is, is solid, but it'd be uh, Mike has a YouTube video showing how he drilled out the eyes and stuff. I'm not sure if he lit his yet or he's going to light it, but it'd be relatively easy to go in there with the Dremel and just Dremel these out and put some uh, LEDs in there. So let's see if this goes on like. Oops. And it fit, I mean the fit is perfect. Literally, it's it keys in perfectly. There's the neck. And then there's the base. For the most part, that's the kit. <clears throat> I'm not going to pull There's uh, some clear eyes in here for all these, and there's a few antennas. And then that's it. Instructions are right here. <laughs> Super easy kit. This would be like something, like, if you weren't going to light it, you could you could probably do it in a day or two pretty easily. But I'm really excited about this kit. So these, uh, I, I plan on these, like, being my Wonderfest, main Wonderfest entries for next year. So keep an eye out for those anyway thanks for looking as usual and my video is 20 minutes anyway <laughs>
But uh, thanks for looking. Check out the Regal. If you haven't ordered one, order one. Uh, I want to be waiting a while. And as always, check out Industrial Mechanic for some really cool original design kits. Uh, if you have any questions, drop Michael uh, Fichtermeyer uh, a message on Facebook or on Industrial Mechanica Facebook page. If you have any questions for me, let me know. Like I said, uh, this is the third Regal I own. I own two of the originals. Um, one from the first edition and one from the second edition. And uh, this one, the other one I would say on a scale of one to ten is like an eight. And this is like a ten. So the old ones are great. This one is just uh, a little bit better just because the casting's better. Instructions are better. Um, my only little nitpick on the Regal is I think the packing could be just a little bit better um, just because I had some breakage. But other than that, thanks for looking. Thanks for watching. Matt Morozik, a.k.a. MVM3897 signing off. Catch you later.